Hi G Squad, it's your girl Justin. So today's video is a story time. So first, if it's your first time stopping by on this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give this the thumbs up if you want more story times. And also comment down below if this story time, you know, made reminded you of anything or if you've been through a similar situation or if you know anybody that been through this type of situation. Because I feel like nowadays most guys are dogs and they just feel like it's okay to you know play with our feelings so yeah so as you guys can tell by the title this story is when I me <laughs> me a whole me I was a side chick goodness like I just cannot believe it but anyways I'll tell you guys about this story so first I was young I was in high school so I guess that's why I even give this boy chances to do that because I, I, I caught him more than one more than two times so it's the third time I decided to walk away so because this boy was full of excuses anyways let's go right in the story so first I was in high school like I said and this boy was not even in school and yeah so he graduated high school and I guess he didn't even finish college so he was a grown guy and um it was the real relationship I had before I started dating Jordan so yeah um I was in high school so and this guy had his own place and his own car mind you us in high school we like to see our guys having their stuff together like that so it's it was like a turn on first of all and all my friends were all hyped about it because he would come and pick us up after school and all this so you guys know all those high school games and stuff so I was really happy to have someone like that so every time he would do something to me I would remember all the stuff that he does for me and my friends and I'd be like hmm do I really want to leave him you know what I'm saying so yeah First, this guy was hooked, like this guy and I were hooked up by one of a girl that was my friend at the time, okay? So, she was like friend with both of us and she hooked us up together. So, we started talking, we started dating. Even though I heard that she was texting him at the same time and she was getting jealous when him and I would be coming close. But anyway, that's another story for another day. But, he was like feeling me i was feeling him so we decided to meet finally and then we met my friend was there like we, our mutual friend was there so we met all together and we decided to you know actually take it to the extra step which is to like dating so we started dating and whatnot and then at the time when him and i got hooked up him and his girlfriend were having like issues so apparently while him and i were dating him and his girlfriend fixed the issue so I became the side chick even though when we started dating I wasn't the side chick after what he told me afterwards but let's just keep going so he and like his girlfriend got back together and I was still in the picture so basically I was a side chick because him and that girl were dating for three years before they got that beef for like a couple of weeks or so and then they got back together so I would sometimes see a number like on saving his phone calling him or texting when I was with him and he'd be like oh it's her trying to get back at me but I'm ignoring her or whatnot I was like, okay okay I was believing him you know because he was really taking good care of me taking me shopping you know all that blah 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 inviting my friend over to his um, apartment like cooking for us getting some, getting us drinks and all this stuff like so I was enjoying that lifestyle I would say because you know as a high school girl I was like oh like my man dry blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean so I was like okay I guess he cannot do all this stuff for me and cheat on me like come on now but boy I was wrong so the first time I caught him she called him and he, he was dropping me off at home and um, we're gonna call this guy dumb because he was real dumb we're gonna call him dumb okay so she called dumb and then dumb just acted like he was a number he didn't know at first he was like who is this and then she was like dumb it's me like why act like you don't know who this is did you change your phone or something and then he was like i don't know who this is and he hung up because first his phone was connected to his um car so i could hear everything that's why he was acting you know like he didn't know who that was so that first time we got into an argument and everything i was like, i'm sure that's a girl you know because she wouldn't call you and the way she was talking you could tell that she knew for sure who she was calling so i was like we're going to argument and they like he was like you know come on baby like you, got, you ain't got to worry about that like probably someone playing with my number or playing on my phone da, 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 da. and i was like okay cool 
and then boom i let that first time go the second time i saw some messages of the girl talking about some oh did you get home already and i'm like isn't that the same number that was calling you the other day because i remember the ending of that number i was like isn't that the same number he was like oh no it's not this boy even though he's a man, like he's grown, but this boy trying to make me feel like I was dumb. Like he was like, "Oh no, it's not the number. What are you talking about, girl?" When I tell you, I was shook at the way this boy would lie, cause I knew I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't wrong. Like I know for sure that that was the number. But then you know, I was blinded by love, so I was like, "Oh okay," and I was like, "Why is she texting you?" Cause I could tell it was a girl. Like, I don't know, just the way she was talking, I could tell, no nigga would talk to him like, Oh, sweetie, did you, did you get home? Like, no nigga would say that. So I was like, oh, who is that then? And he lied to me, he talking about something, it's my ex. No, he didn't lie who he was, he said it's my ex. But he lied, he was like, but I don't know what she's talking about. So I'm like, okay, so your ex is asking if you got home, like, you and her saw each other earlier today, is that right? And he was like, oh, no, we didn't see each other, she's just crazy. I told you she want me back, but I don't want her back no more. And mind you guys, I was the side chick for a year and three months. A year and three months. I was just like, I keep taking it. The first time I caught him was after like us being together for like three months. The first time I caught him. The second time was after we were together for like going to a year. So I was like, I'm, we better be a year together. That was my first long relationship. I was like, we better be a year together so I don't want this little girl to mess it up and all the stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm going to forgive you. So I let it, I kept the movie, and whenever I would catch him doing something fishy, this boy would take me shopping, give me money, like do something for, for me to feel like, oh, he loved me so much, that's why he's doing this. If he didn't really love me or if he was cheating on me, he would have never done this. But whole time, you know, I was young, so that's what I thought. But, like I said, it was about to be our one year anniversary, so I was like, I'm not about to mess it up for a chick like that, you know. They were together for three years, yeah, but... He moved on, he moved on, she needs to move on too. So, I even asked him, I said, do you want me to call the girl and like talk to her and tell her to you leave you alone? And this boy talking about myself, oh no, you don't need to do that, then you're going to bring yourself down, da 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 So, literally, after that, the like two months came, it was our anniversary, and we, you know, we, we enjoyed, we had fun. He invited my friends over his place, we enjoyed, and then... He dropped everybody home. That's what I like. He was dropping everybody home. We live like 40 minutes away from his house. And he was dropping all, every single one of us home. And I was just like, oh yeah, you know, I was happy. Like, I was like, oh yeah, my man, you know, is going to drop you. My man got you. My friend be like, oh, I don't have a right. I be like, oh, my, boy, my boyfriend got you. My ex got you. But, um, then, like, after we hit our anniversary, let me tell you, this boy, this boy got two Facebook one Facebook where he was playing me and one Facebook where he was playing the other girl his main chick technically the and the crazy thing is that both Facebook had the same friends so his friend that was hyping me up like oh you're gonna marry my friend la da da yeah really meant for each other were the same friends that were hyping the other girl up on the account he had where he was posting picture of him and her so just one day I don't know one of his friends posted a picture of, of my, my boyfriend at the time, his ex, and that friend of his. That was his best friend. They posted a picture of all three of them. They were like, oh, um, beach time because it was at the beach. It was at Ocean City Beach. I don't know if you guys know that. It's here in Maryland. And then I saw that, you know, picture. I was like, hmm. He was, and then I asked him, I was like, hmm, what's that? And he was talking about some, oh, that was a long time ago. I'm like, oh, okay. Then... His best friend started posting more pictures. I don't know if he forgot that I was friend with him. I don't know. Or whatever went in his mind. I don't know. Then he started posting more pictures. And all this stuff. He was like, this summer was lit. Because it was all the summer. I was like, this boy is going to tell me this happened a long time ago. And whole time, he, his best friend is talking about something. This summer was lit. Like, come on now. I'm not that stupid. So I called his best friend out because I had his number too. I called him. He was like, oh, you know, you're our sister-in-law. I just said that you make people mad. Her and I were real cool friends. I was like, okay, cool. I really don't like those pictures. And plus, you're calling me your sister-in-law. But the whole time, you're posting the pictures of a girl, you know, that had a story with my ex. I mean, with my man. So basically, her, um, her ex. So he was like, oh, he's sorry. He didn't mean to hurt my feeling. 
and I was like, okay, cool. I let it go. Like literally, I was so I wasn't stupid. I was just so naive. I let it go again. And then I asked my boyfriend at the time. I was like, I asked dumb. I said dumb. Like I saw the pictures. I confronted your best friend, but he he agreed with what you told me about this picture being a long time ago. Picture. So I was like, okay, cool. Then couple months came by. It was like in January. This happened in January of 2000 and. Hmm, I don't remember. Was it December or January? I don't remember. It was around that time. This happened. Um, I was at his in his apartment chilling, and then this girl picked, called called his phone again. And then at that time, I remember the number. I didn't want to ask about it no more. So he picked up and walked in his room. So I followed him at the door. I was listening to everything. This boy thought he was slick. I was listening to everything. He was like, oh, I told you I had something to do right now. I cannot really be on the phone and all this stuff. Let me call you back, okay, babe? And I was like, did he just call her babe? Did he just? Okay. So when I heard him, I heard him coming back to the living room, I ran back. I sat down like nothing was happening. Like I was watching my TV. I mean, his TV. I was watching TV and, you know, doing me. And this boy is going to walk and be like, oh man, this girl keep calling me. She needs to leave me alone. I'm not interested. And I was like, oh really? He was like, yeah. I was like, can I see your phone? This boy done delete that girl's number already. I was like, what happened to the number that just called you? He talking about something. Oh no, nothing happened to it. I don't like when she called me. When she called me, I always delete her number. Mind you, the other times I wasn't catching him were because whenever he was with me, he would block the girl's number. And whenever he was with the girl, he would block my number because apparently the girl heard about me. Um, she After when he was confessing to me, he told me the girl heard that there was this one high school girl he was talking to while they were, you know, in bad terms. So he he lied to her, told her that he dropped me after they fixed the issue, which wasn't, you know, true, of, of course, because I was being the side chick at the time. So I was just like, okay, he told me. He always delete her number after she calls. I was like, hmm, okay. Guys, I'm so smart. I was like, I had already memorized that girl's number after those those two times of her calling, cause Marilyn's number is always two four zero or three zero one to start with. So I was like, I don't have to worry about the first numbers. I just got to remember the three middle number and the four last numbers. So that's all I had to worry about. So that's I, that's all I remember. So I was like, okay. So I asked him for, I asked for his phone. He gave it to me. I went to the bathroom, locked myself in there. I called the number, and this girl picked up. And I acted like I was one of his homies' girl. I was like, oh hi, girl. She was like, hi. I was like, oh you just called dumb, right? And then she was like, oh yeah, I just called him. And I was like, who are you? Because um, he he didn't want to tell me. Cause I like you know asking him questions. He just didn't want to tell me who you were. And then she was like, oh he didn't tell you. I was, he was like, she was like, who are you? I said, I'm one of his homies, girl, you know, and then she was like, oh, okay, and then I was, she was like, what friend? And I was like, one of his friends that plays soccer with him, I don't think you know me, I'm new, um, I'm a new girlfriend, and then he was like, she was like, oh, okay, I'm his girlfriend, I'm surprised he didn't tell you, so I'm like, you are his what? She was like, I'm his girlfriend, and I was like, oh, okay, thanks, and she was like, okay, so at that time, I was heated. Like, I was boiling. I was ready to just burn his house in fire. Like, I was mad. So I was like, you know what? I went back in the living room, sat down. I was like, um, so you told me you and your ex are no longer together, right? That's why she's your ex. And he was like, girl, let's not talk about that B. He called her a B word. Let's not talk about that B. And I was like, okay. But I just have some questions. Because guess what? I just spoke to her. And, um, she told me everything. You've been talking to her since. Y'all fix your beef. And y'all been back together. And if you know, most guys, when you catch them doing something, they will, they will try to lie about it. And make it seem like they, they didn't do it or you are the one that's wrong. So, I, he, that's exactly what he did. I was like, can you take me home? Like, because I, I told him, I was like, so she told me the truth. He was like, oh no, that's a lie. I was like, you know what, take me home. So, when he took, when he took me home, when he dropped me home, like in front of my like around my neighborhood we, we parked somewhere and then we're talking i was like let's call the girl he was like oh no nah, let's not call her guess what i did took my phone call and i was like so what are you gonna say about this and I, the girl like said everything she was like oh dumb what are you talking about you were over my place earlier today so you went to see this girl again and i was like yes girl 
I lied. I'm not one of his homies, girl. I'm your man's side chick, apparently. Who thought she was the main chick? So, what's up? So, she was just yelling. She was mad. She was upset. She was, like, screaming, like, so much. And I was just like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I was like, okay, bye. I hung up. So, I was like, tell me the truth. This boy cursed me out. He was like, you just a B. Like, he just, like, he was just calling me all types of names. Knowing he was wrong, but he was like he proceeded to tell me I was the one that's wrong, that's just looking for issues, that his ex is just you know tripping, and I should have never pushed it that far. Basically making me feel guilty, reverse psychology technically, like making me feel like I'm the cause, like I'm wrong, and what he's doing is right. He's not doing anything. I'm just you know thinking, you know I'm just having these crazy thoughts in my mind, and I was just like, mm, maybe this boy can be right, but nope. This is not the first time, this is not the second time, this is the third time I catch this boy. And I don't I don't give more than three chances. If you know me personally, you know you have three chances. Especially, and that's if I really care about you. If I don't care about you, after one strike, you are out. So I gave him three, I was like, this is the third one. And this boy, the way he cursed me out, I was like, I'm not, 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 not taking this boy back. Like, this is too much. Girl, I walked out of his car, I went home. I thought this boy was going to, like... Tell me the truth the next day because I'm really forgiven. Like, I will f just move on in my life and forgive him. The next day, he called me and I was in school, mind you. He was cursing me out and I was in school. The way I started bawling and I was crying, I was like crying so much. And then I was just like, Why? Like, I don't deserve this. What have I ever done to you? Like, I like whenever he would call me, I'll be in class, I'll walk out of class just to be on the phone. I'll be crying, crying, crying. Walk back in class, crying, crying, crying. My teacher was like, I have this one teacher that really was really close to me. She was like, Is everybody in your family okay? Are you okay? Because I was crying. Like, someone passed away. Like, literally, I was really, really hurt. And then I was like, Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You want to go to the nurse? I was like, No, I'm fine. And then, like, you guys know high school has seven periods. Like, each period, I was crying every single period, including lunchtime. Like, I was bawling my eyes out. And then, some of my friends that knew him, of course, were, like, supporting me, telling me it was going to be okay. My best friend at the time was dating his, like, I think his cousin. Yeah, his cousin. But they were calling each other's brothers. After he did that to me, I let it go. I moved on in li with life. That's when I found out about her Facebook because he deleted the Facebook that had my pictures and him. He deleted that Facebook. So no, he, he didn't delete my picture, but he deleted the account. So I was like, hmm. Then I went out, I typed his name in one of his friends um friend list. Then I saw that Facebook. He just, you know, changed the last name and all that. And I never thought about him having two Facebooks. So I never really looked into that. So that's when I saw pictures of them going to the beach, the Ocean City Beach. That was that summer. They were there all together with all his friends that used to call me sister-in-law. They were all in that place. Like they were all there together. They took a, they did a big like trip, like a big trip, yeah. And they all dro drove to Ocean City. They had fun, as I saw in the pictures. And like he was carrying her, writing bigger, big quotes, and all those extra stuff. I was just like, I was, like I was super mad. When I tell you I was mad, I was mad. I was miserable for the first week, like crying all the time. And mind you, my parents didn't know I was I was in a relationship. Like so I had no one to really run to in my house to tell them about this situation. So but to just, you know, suck it up. So I was taking it like a boss, like after the week I was like, oh whatever, like he was in my time, but guess what? I'm still young. That like I was just thinking positive positively so I don't feel down. So um Two or three months later passed by, this boy called me. And then I was like, um, hello, who is this? Because I had already deleted his number. I was done with him. And I was like, who is this? And then he was like, you know who this is? I was like, oh, because I remember the one was like, oh, dumb, it's you. Why are you calling me? What do you need? And then he was like, I just want to apologize for everything I did to you. I was like, oh, sounds nice. I knew this, this day was going to come because I really knew it was going to come because I knew I wasn't wrong. And then he was like, Oh, let me just tell you everything. This boy proceeded to tell me, Oh, yeah, I got back to her. I got back with her when we started dating, but you were so nice and sweet to me. I didn't know how to drop you, so I just thought I could handle two at the same time. But obviously, I was wrong. Whenever I was with you, I would block her number. Whenever I was with her, I would block your number. But obviously, 
I, I forgot to block her number when I was with you a couple of times. That's how you caught me all these times. You were, you know, accusing me and I was denying. You were actually right. He started telling me this whole Bible story, like telling me this whole situation. I just like, I was even more hurt. I was I appreciate the fact that he told me and he's confessing to me. But then again, he could have done that since. Like he waited this long. And I even told him, I was like, I'm like I was done with high school. I would never make this mistake again. I told him I was like, so do you think we should work things out? Ah uh, yes, guys, I did say that. I really wanted to work things out still. I was like, do you think he was like, no, nah, I prefer staying with her. <laughs> my heart, my heart. When I tell you, even though I was getting over it, my heart hurt it so bad. I was like, so he really said he prefer moving on and staying with that girl than working things out with me, like. But I was like, okay, cool. I let it go. I was like, I mean, he's, you know, he's lost. Because something about me, for me not to feel bad about what what is going on, I'll make you feel like you are losing something. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not losing anything. So I was like, he's lost. You know, I was a good girlfriend. I know someone else will appreciate me. Like, <laughs> Jordan appreciates me. But, yeah. Um, I was like, yeah, I know I'm a good girlfriend. So, he's lost. Um... Mind you, like I always say, karma is a, you know. Um, after that situation happened, he was like, can we be friends? I said, I cannot be friends with you, like, ew. Like, you disgusting, like, dumb, you dumb. Um, I was like, let me just move on, you know, let me just keep moving on. Maybe we'll be friends later, later, later on, down, down the line, like, later, later on. Like, I'm not ready for friendship with you. And guess what happened a month, literally, a month after he apologized that girl cheated on him she cheated on him like no kidding he caught her in her in her room with another guy and he's gonna call me tell me oh you were right I think we really should, should work things out I don't want that girl no more I say you ain't got no choice she done cheat on you like you caught her right 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 in the bed with a guy so hmm how do you feel now and he was like, oh, do you think, I said, I don't think, I don't want, I don't need you, like, I don't have to think, I don't, I don't need, like, I was, the one was pushing me, I was like, oh, heck no, like, mm -mm. this is a no, like, no go, like, I was really, really, like, pushing him, I said, uh-uh, you can go and keep dealing with your cheating girlfriend, like, I ain't got time for that, and then that's when he was like, oh, I really regret all I did, like, you were a really good girlfriend, I know you were younger than me, but still you were a really good girlfriend, you took good care of me, you never cheated on me, like, you were really respecting me, la 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 you guys already know what this should be, I'm. so I was like, hmm, I'm happy you know that, I'm glad you know that, but guess what, someone else will know how to appreciate me, but not you, because you already done messed up your turn, your strikes are done, like, get away from me, bye. And then, like, he just kept trying over and over. Every time he would text me, call me, let me take you out to eat, let me take you this, let me take you this. And I would just keep pushing him away until he finally got tired and decided to move on with another girl. Sadly, actually, let me give you guys some tea on his new relationship. Him himself told me he's just dating this girl until he finds a real girlfriend. So basically, that girl is how is with him since 2014 or 15 or whatever. His new girlfriend I'm talking about. But whole time this boy told me like last year, beginning of last year, that he's just with that girl because he's waiting for a real woman in his life. So when I be So when I be seeing them at the club together, I just look at her like, hmm, girl, you don't know what this boy be saying about you, girl, but that's none of my business. I just be sipping my cup of tea and moving on. So yes guys, that's the story of when I a whole just land. Eh, was a side chick unbelievable right i know but yes guys i'm happy where i am right now i'm with my king jordan and he treats me like a queen and he treats me like the woman i deserve to be treated as so without further ado don't ever give up even if you were a side chick like me like don't ever give up even or if you were a main chick and you know your relationship happened not to work don't give up like there's plenty of fishes in this in this freaking sea. Like I'm sure you will find somebody that will match with what you're looking for, and that person will treat you way way more better than that other person did. So yeah, now I'm happy. 
to think about if I would have stayed in that relationship, would I really be happy like that? Like, I don't think so. But yes, guys, thank you so much for watching this story time. If you like my story time, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below telling me more story time. And I got you guys. Also, if you are new to this channel, once again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Come on now. You made it to the end. So, and it's free. So, free 99. Who doesn't like that? And guys, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, G-Gang.